Good morning, Eagles. Please stand for our morning prayer. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We hear in today's gospel, what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man comes from his heart. Come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, litatiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. Let us pray. Our loving and merciful Father, thank you so much for being an awesome God. You are definitely worthy of praise. We are very sorry, Lord, for sometimes becoming unworthy of the graces we receive, because we allow our hearts to be indifferent to your love for us. Lord, you alone know the human heart. Teach us, Lord, to reject evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, and other grievous sins. Let us always be aware of the things that truly defile our hearts, and instead, give us the heart to fill with pure intentions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Now please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Santa Margarita. On today's show, we have a look into career day with Fallon, a report on the Grammys and Super Bowl predictions. This show is bound to be exciting, so let's get started faster than lightning. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Baron Stamer. And I'm John Burton. But John, before we get the show started, I think we have a few announcements. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. If you didn't hear yesterday, senior pilgrimage signups are now open. The class of 2024 will make the walk from our campus to Mission San Juan Capistrano. You will make the early price signups before February 16th on your campus life teams. Here's another upcoming event. The freshman drive through is happening on February 21st. We had an inside look at the event on Monday, but you can still sign up by tomorrow. Reach out to your coach or club representative to join in on the event. Expect to have hold signs, call out names, and make the incoming freshman class feel welcome. And don't forget, there's free dinner from Jersey Mike's and a non-uniform dress awarded to volunteers. Well, John, those were some nice announcements. Agreed, but Baron, I think one thing was left out. And what would that be? Well, career day took place recently for our junior class. I hear Fallon got an inside look at the event. Let's see it. What's up, Eagles? I'm Fallon Boyle, and I'm here with an inside look from Career Day. The class of 2025 had the opportunity to attend Santa Margarita's Career Day to hear from some notable alumni. They heard a panel discussion on topics ranging from college majors to interviews for jobs. Students then introduced themselves and connected with them on any questions they had about certain industries. The day concluded with breakout sessions in which students could dive further into their interests where students divide around campus on topics ranging from marketing to medical to public service and sports broadcasting. Now let's turn it over to some interviews that I got with my classmates to hear their thoughts on Career Day. Uh, my main takeaway from Career Day is that, you know, nothing's certain and that you always have time and you can pick out any career you want as long as that it fits your personality and that you, know, you should trust. Um, what I learned from Career Day is that we have to make moves now we have to start networking ourselves, and we have to put ourselves out there for more opportunities in the future. Uh, my main takeaway is to work hard and just be nice to other people, because they'll come back around later at the end of the day. All right, thank you. Those were great. Sending it back to Baron and John. Hey, Fallon, before you send it back, I have one more question. What was your favorite part of career day? You know what, John? I would probably say my favorite part of career day was getting to hear my aunt and uncle talk. You know, I'm glad that you enjoyed that, and I have to say, that was pretty entertaining, John. Yes, it certainly was, and Baron, did you just say entertaining? Well, yes I did. Well, to keep it on the notion of entertainment, we have an entertainment report to keep us all up to date. What's up, SM? My name is Brody Sazna. And I'm Kelly Dodson. Without further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of entertainment. Last Sunday, February 4th, the 66th Annual Grammy Awards took place in the Crypto.com Arena in downtown Los Angeles. 
The prestigious award show featured the red carpet with some of the highest names in the music industry. The biggest award went to Taylor Swift. She won her fourth Album of the Year award, breaking the record for most amount of Album of the Years ever won by a single person. Speaking of Taylor Swift, upon receiving her 13th Grammy, she decided to announce her newest album, The, to the Tortured Poets Department. This album is set to be released on April 19th, 2024. Let's take a look at Taylor's announcement speech. This is my 13th Grammy. Which is my lucky number, I don't know if I've ever told you that. My brand new album comes out April 19th. It's called, <laughs> it's called The Tortured Poets Department. That sh is surely a great way to wrap up this report. But before we go, what are some of your hot takes on the Grammys? Personally, I think Noah Kong is robbed. Yes, and you can't forget about Olivia Rodrigo and Lana Del Rey. Yeah, well, there's always next year. It looks like that sums up what happened this year at the Grammys. Once again, my name is Brody Sazna. And I'm Kelly Dodson. Have an amazing week, SM. You know, John, it's, it was certainly hard to stay up to date on the entertainment for the week. Well, Mr. Stammer, now that the Super Bowl weekend is coming up, I think we need a rundown on what to expect from the big game. Well, John, we do have an awesome Super Bowl segment that's ready to go. Hello, Eagles, and welcome to the official Eagle TV predictions for this Super Bowl 58 this Sunday. The storylines of the Super Bowl are set. Taylor Swift and the Chiefs versus Anna Fry and the 49ers. Yeah, Baron, unfortunately, with the rising popularity of the Chiefs' kingdom, the 49ers have the tall task of beating Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and the whole Swifty kingdom. Tyler, I would have to disagree with all those Swifties out there, and I'm going to side with California and, quite frankly, most of America in my pick with the San Francisco 49ers. Baron, you couldn't be more correct. The Niners are favored by two points, and I would totally agree with that. But arguably, the oddball bets surrounding the Super Bowl are more interesting. Yeah, my personal favorite of these oddball bets are the Gatorade color poured on the winning coach. Currently, the favorite is purple Gatorade, but I, I have to side with lemon lime. It's personally my favorite. It's a good guess, Baron. But I'm more interested in how many times they're going to show Taylor Swift during the game. I'm betting it's over 10. I guess we'll see, Tyler. I can't wait for this weekend. I'm Baron Stamer. And I'm Tyler Hunter, now sending it back to the hosts. Wait, that guy looks kind of familiar. Anyway, I'm just glad we got to see a good look on the Super Bowl. Yes, agreed, Baron, but I think I just heard some thunder, which reminds me, just as fast as lightning strikes, the thunder arrives not so soon after. And with that, I believe we should wrap up the show. Unfortunately, John, I think you're right. Goodbye for now, SM. I'm Baron Stamer. And I'm John Burton. Have a great day, Eagles.